Make sure to follow all my other social media pages. If you aren't already, follow me on Instagram at the Healy Six, Twitter at the Healy Six. You can follow me on Snapchat at Healy Six. And I also stream on Twitch at Healy Six. What is going on, guys? Healy here. This Thursday, we are playing MLB The Show 16. Some call it the greatest MLB The Show of all time for Diamond Dynasty. Others have different opinions. I personally enjoyed 16. That's where I got my start. A lot of people that subscribed to me back in the day watched me for MLB The Show 16 videos. I'm excited to be back on this game. As you can see with the squad right here, it shows it on the diamond. Also, diamond started at 93. So you see Cano and Harper, both 92s. Uh, they were one point away from being a diamond. There wasn't too much that you could do on this game. There were missions, uh, some by completing collections, others just by doing statistical stuff. Uh, there's conquest missions. I didn't finish a lot of these, but there's some decent cards in here. And then there's like discovery missions, which once you discovered a certain player, uh, you had to do certain stats with them to unlock maybe another one. Like this Oliver Perez views his live series, got 25 strikeouts. You get this 86. He's one of the best pitchers in the game. And there's also like player stats. Uh, I completed Mike Trout and Clayton Kershaw and Aaron. All these just give me XP and stubs. And then the, for the ticket counter, there are six different captains. You had to level up each captain to a specific level. But like for Josh Donaldson, you could also get live series cards. You had Mike Trout and Carlos Beltran both in the ticket counter. 5,000 each. Each of these captains, uh, you would get more tickets by using certain players. So as you can see, use players in Diamond Dynasty. Diamond Dynasty with a durability of 85 or higher. And then after a certain amount of innings with all those guys, you would get uh, 25 extra tickets. For the starting rotation, we have Clayton Kershaw. is 99. Jose Fernandez. Yes, the great Jose Fernandez. I don't expect him to ever get a card in the show again. But uh, this card was pretty cool. Might be the last time I actually use him. Max Scherzer. Steven Strasburg, and then we have Jake Arrieta. For the lineup, we have Mike Trout, who was a 99 at the time. Stats, beasts like always. Better arm strength. Barry Bonds, otherwise known as Reggie Stocker. He had 94 contact versus righties, 82 versus lefties, 99 power, right-handers, left-handers. What else would he have? 91 vision he had 80 speed 84 fielding monster only problem was he had 68 arms so you kind of had to play him in left field 99 pools his stats across the board monster chipper jones 95 pretty good pretty good bryce harper as a 92 his power 86 and 84 really nice is 87 arms 67 speed I'll use them against righties or lefties. Alex Rodriguez. It'd be sick to get him back in the show. Contact stats, really good power, really good vision. 72 fielding, amazing 88 speed. Really nice. Then we have Robinson Cano. You can only hit right hander as well, so we do have someone on the bench. If the 90 overall, Jim Edmonds. Can't wait for his Cardinals car to come out in 18. Teddy Ball game, who didn't have as much power against left-handers, but his stats across the board, sick. Eddie Murray, he's a good switch hit option. Jackie Robinson, he'll come in against left-handers uh, if we do face one. And then Matt Kemp, we might sub him in for Bryce Harper at some point. 90 and 90 for right-hander stats. And then against left-handers, 98 and 99, sick card. Really good fielding, arm strength's all right. Comparable to Mike Trout. For everyone that didn't play this game, Josh Hamilton had a card, 97 overall. Mark Teixeira had a card. Really good switch hitter at first base. There was a good Jake PV card. Justin Morneau. Grady Sizemore. Beast card. 
Poor contact versus lefties, but he had the power. One of my favorite players back in the day. He had the flashback. Big poppy. Had really good power, as you see right there. He also had Prince Fielder. This isn't his best card. This 90 was actually his best card due to the power versus right-handers and left-handers. So it would be cool to see some of these cards back in future games, maybe. Uh, some of the guys that retired. But let's get into the gameplay. Been holding you guys off for too long. This guy is Charlie Blackman, Corey Seager, A-Rod, Pujols, Beltran, Utley, Ted Williams, and Saltel Machia. We have Jose Fernandez on the mound. He is Nolan Ryan. You guys get to see Jose Fernandez pitch in this gameplay. We are we're the memers. The uniforms, I apologize. Also, look at this pitch speed. That fastball came in pretty quick. Doing one count now to Reggie Stocker. And Reggie. Is that going out? What? I thought that was going deep. I don't know what happened on that one. You could bunt in this game pretty easily. Goes after that fastball. It was at his eyes. The slider moves in at like 90 plus. And he gets a base hit. 63 speed. Okay. We allow a single. That's perfectly fine. Slider away. Should be able to put him away. Hey, we do. Second strikeout for Fernandez. We're going to go slider, try to put him away right here. And we do. The slider works. That 98 mile per hour fastball is coming in so fast. And Chipper Jones, he ends up pulling the baseball for a single. We are on base. He is Charlie Blackman in right field. How does that make any sense? Bryce Harper could take Nolan deep. It's not going to happen. Is the double play going to happen? No, it's not. Albert takes his time. We get two guys on. Throw that high and end fastball. I'm waiting for it. A-Rod, he does get a base hit. 58 speed. We get home. One to nothing lead. We're going to hold up at second base. A-Rod's on first with 88. Ooh, nice curveball. Cannot strike out Cano. Put it in play. Another 3-2 count. Put in play. Oh, man. We strike out. That's not what we wanted. That change-up speed is nice. You can see if we can get him with the sweeping curve. We do. We strike him out. Inning over. Mike Trout popped out his first time up. And Mike Trout, this one's hit deep. It's going way back and gone. Through a high and end fastball. We turned on it. It's gone. Albert Pujols now up. Two outs in the inning. And Albert, is this one gone? It's going back. Almost makes it to the track. Jose Fernandez, does his change up work right here? It does, but Albert makes the play. Okay. Another hitless inning. He only has one hit through three innings. That's pretty good so far. Two runs is not enough for the squad, though. A-Rod. He got on bases last time up. And A-Rod gets out right here. A-Rod's going to make the play on A-Rod. We're going to go slider yet again. And we strike him out looking. Slider. Does it work? It does. We strike out Albert yet again. Tenth pitch of that bat to Cano. And Cano walks on 10 pitches. I'll take it. Great AB. Does have a home run. We pop up. Trying to time up that fastball. Can't do it. Change up. Trying to get it out of the zone. It is. And Ted Williams goes deep. It's a one-run ball game. That was still in the zone. One swing to the bat ties up the game. We're going to go with the slider. He tries bunting. We strike him out. Why are you bunting? Three and one. Albert Pujols is on deck. Is he going to throw it in the zone? No. Reggie gets on base for the first time today. Base hit scores a run. 
Kipper Jones, let's try it. Oh, he's going to walk us. Two and two count. Umpire gives him that call. Wow. Wow. Okay, Blue. And we pop up in foul territory. Uh, we get guys on again and fail to do something. Early Blackman hasn't done anything today. And he bunts and gets on. Okay. MLB 16, for you guys that did not know, cannot allow Seager to get on base. We strike out Seager. Jimmy Rollins now up with two outs. He's trying to go. And just like that, yeah, come, come right back. Come right back. We tag you out. There we go. He tried bunting again. That's what that's what people result to resort to in 16. That's what made it bad. Ooh, almost caught the corner. One and two. Sweeping curve should get him to offer. And we're gonna tag first base. Nice try. You can't do that. Nice try. We're gonna go fastball low and in. Can we place this? We can. We strike him out. Don't know how many strikeouts, but Fernandez has been a beast for us. We pop out. That's the story of this game for me today. I can't square up any baseballs. That Nolan Ryan is so hard to read with his uh, different velocities. Now we are going to go change up below the zone. And he offers at it. Easy strikeout for Fernandez. He struggled to hit the sweeping curve from Fernandez. And he can't hit it there. Another strikeout for Jose. He brings in his created player. I'm glad he has one. Oh, and he has all the stupid pitches on it as well. We're going to get Matt Kemp an opportunity here. His created player throws underhand, but he has a slurve. A curveball, a sinker, doesn't make too much sense. Can I see if Jackie can get on base right here? Jackie, that one's hit deep. And that one's going to be the third out of the inning. Jose Fernandez is going to try to close it out right here in the ninth. Corey Seager has this, one of this guy's like two hits or something like that. Trying to be the savior. And he's not going to as A-Rod makes the play. We win the ball game two to one. I'm sorry there wasn't more runs, but Fernandez, player of the game. Rest in peace, Jose. Fernandez, 11 strikeouts in nine innings. Did allow that one home run to Ted Williams. Okay. We only had three total hits. I could not hit that Nolan Ryan. The speed differences on his pitches were too strong for me. I just couldn't do it. Mike Trout got a home run. Chipper got a hit. And A-Rod got an RBI. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know if you want to see me play this game again in the future. And make sure you leave a like, subscribe. This is Healy, and I am out. Peace.